Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. It's a beautiful day and today I would like to present to you a Virginia Highland whiskey. You heard that right. What I got here is a bottle that my friend John brought with him from Virginia that I'd never seen before, never heard of before, let alone tasted. It is a Virginia Highland malt. Wow, weird. Come, let's find out. And it really is a weird whiskey because here she is. The label, the label says very clearly that it is a marriage of Scotch malt whiskey and American whiskey finished in port wine casks. What is that? This is, this is, so basically it's a blended malt, right? Because on the one hand, we've got American single malt from Virginia. And on the other hand, we've got Scotch single malt from Scotland. So it's a bit of a, it's, it's a blended malt, sure, but this is, this is, this is a hybrid malt, wouldn't you say? American and Scottish single malt whiskey married together. Now, the American single malt in the mix is at least five years old, and once it was married, it was finished for another 12 months in port wine casks. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to expect. John, what the hell did you bring me? Anyway, let's find out, let's find out. It is bottled at 46% ABV, and I have to be careful that I don't drop the bottle. There we go. Let me just put it back there. Gently, gently. There we go. Let's hope it doesn't drop. Right. It's got this, this beautiful coppery color, and like I said, this is bottled at 46% ABV on the nose. Well, that nose betrays a multi heart. And it's got a bit of a dirty edge to it as well. Yeah, I get caramel, I get hints of red fruit. But in all honesty, it's not, it's not very, it's not very pronounced, not very outspoken. It's not boring either though. I get figs, I get walnuts, but little more. Well, another touch of wet earth maybe. And a little rust. Yeah, I kid you not. Now, that being said, it smells quite, it smells a bit weird, but interesting. Right, on the palate then. Hmm. On the palate, it is surprisingly creamy. And it's immediately, uh, well, both very sweet, but also he heavily peppered. Black pepper in there and quite a bit of it. Spicy, piquant, but, but in a good way. I get red and blueberries, I get strawberry jam, I get rhubarb and quince stew, some baked apples. There's a lot more going on than the nose promised, though. Uh, some chili pepper, some cardamom, and lightly roasted caramel. A dash of wood smoke as well. And it even has something funky that I cannot quite pinpoint. It's weird. Again, it's, it's, it's a weird whiskey, but it is also quite interesting and even a bit exciting. Don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> uh, it's pleasant enough. The finish. Well, the finish is medium long, a bit candy-like, sweet, nice, warm from the spices. It's not bad at all. This, this Virginia Distillery Company, which is at the, at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, they, uh, they produce this, this, this marriage of Scotch and American single malt, this hybrid whiskey port cask finished. Very weird indeed, but quite lovely. I don't know where you keep finding these things, John, but uh, please keep come visiting me and keep surprising me. And I'll have you know, it says here on the back label that this actually, this whiskey has won the title of best American blended malt five years and running in the World Whiskey Awards in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Wow, five years in a row. It does beg the question, how many of these in this category were entered into the competition, wouldn't you say? Or maybe I'm just being, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll try not to be a dick. This is, um, uh, it's, it's not a grand whiskey, but as American stuff goes, this is a bit weird, funky, and a bit exciting. And that, my friends, is all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.